Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're coming at you with 2021 Bowman Chrome Baseball Full Case. Pick your team number 17. All cards ship, two autos a box. Pro it's Bowman, so it's prospect hunting. So, I mean, I know not a lot, not, these are not household names yet, right? Luis Rodriguez or Shailen Plum, not household names, but we're hoping they become household names. That's, that's the plan anyway. That's why we collect these, grade these, store these, put them away in a shoebox, and then hopefully they, they turn out to be something. All right. Thanks, everybody, for hanging with me on a Wednesday. Appreciate Chad getting the three sort of big teams at the end. He got triple last spot mojo, and as a reward... I just gave him a couple of the cheap teams for that Diamondbacks and the uh, and the Mets, just as a, a little thank you for grabbing the three bigger teams, probably the three biggest teams, actually, in this case break. So good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. So let's pop open this fresh case. Selected, hand-selected by, by the boss man here, Nick's dad. See if this is a stud case or a dud case. We haven't seen a super fractor in a while. All right, so right here in the in this main camera and the top camera above my head, you can see all twelve boxes right here, three rows of four. All right, and away we go. Good luck. Baseball. We're, we're, we're in the last week of the regular season, which is kind of crazy. Do we have any active games here? Yeah, we got Nats at Rockies, Nationals. I think both of these teams just playing for just playing for stats, just padding numbers at this point. <laughs> Make their year look good, maybe help themselves, maybe the youngsters help themselves in arbitration or in impending free agency. That's what the Nationals and Rockies players are doing right now. Nats are up 2 nothing in the uh, early, in the top of the first. I think what are, what are some, uh, most, a lot of these teams are irrelevant. Yeah, Cubs and Pirates are playing for arbitration, playing for stat padding. Orioles are trying to play spoiler a little bit. Red Sox at Orioles. O's beat the Red Sox last night. Yankees, Blue Jays, definitely wild card implications there. That's a good game. Garrett Cole on the mound today. That's a tough one for the Blue Jays. Marlins Mets. They're playing for uh, they're playing for stats. Phillies Braves. I think Phillies still have like a outside outsidey chance to make some make some noise. That Phillies Braves series is pretty good too. All right, let's take a look at this first box. Hopefully, this one will be pretty good. Remember, all card chips. So if I happen to miss like a a key short print or variation, don't worry. Everything will go. There's Jose Buto will definitely go. That goes to Chad and the Mets. There you go, Chad. Your bonus team right here. Number 12 prospect in the Mets organization. Xander Bogarts to 499. Refractor for Boston. That'll go to Leo. There's Po Yu Chen, 190 out of 250. Purple Chrome for the Buckos. That'll be for Chad, one of his last spot mojo teams. Let's find some ink for him. And there it is, Santiago Flores. Pirates autograph for Chad, one of his last spot mojo teams. Number 25, Pirates prospect. And Brian Reynolds, blue chrome to 150 for the Pirates. All right, nice start. And next box. 
Uh, what else? Tigers Twins are squaring off. That they're just playing for stats, or maybe could could tank for draft position. Brewers Cardinals Cardinals. Man, they they have they've won 17 games in a row. I mean, Brewers have that division wrapped up, and Cardinals pretty much have that second wild card spot wrapped up. So, I guess the people on the outside trying to maybe snag a. I mean, that Cardinals I guess would have to lose six in a row or five or six games in a row for them to undo what's been done. But anyway, Cardinals going for 18 tonight. Brewers at Cardinals. It's, uh, I think, Eric Hauser versus Miles Mikolas. Ooh, Relic coming up too. Angels Rangers, they're playing for stats. They're playing for arbitration. Maybe uh, better free agency. They're padding stats. Indians Royals are padding stats. Uh, Rays and Astros. I guess they're just trying to set up rotations, I guess. They're, they're pretty much set. Reds, White Sox, White Sox are pretty much setting up their rotation and their team for the playoffs. Diamondbacks, Giants, can the Diamondbacks play spoiler? If they beat the Giants and the Dodgers beat the Padres tonight, the Dodgers would be able to gain a game on the Giants and they'd only be on one game back with not too many not too many games left. They might be able to still pip the NL West. And then A's Mariners. Mariners playoff implications too. They got to beat the A's again. All right. We've got Luis Rodriguez. Nice. Gold Shimmer. 11 out of 50. Ryan with the Dodgers. Deemed top Venezuelan prospect in 2019. Potential five-tool player here for the Dodgers. And there's Alexander Mojica, another pirate for Chad. Rated number 19, a pirate's prospect. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end as well. Spencer Torkelson to 199. Torque going to I. Coppola and the Tigers. And the relic is going to be Jacoby Jones. Arizona Fall League flashbacks jersey going to Coppola. Again, that's Grizzlebees in the chat with uh, the Tigres. Purple Chrome Joe Adele. And a redemption behind him. 87 out of one, uh, 87 out of 250 is the purple chrome. That's for the Halos. Chris Phelps with the Angels. <laughs> I think you might have, Chad. Good start in that first box. All right. Final autograph in the second box. Bowman Chrome Prospect Autograph. Atomic Parallel. Oliver guessing Malcolm Nunez. It's going to be, no, New York? It's going to be New York Yankees, Alexander Vizcaino. Nice one for Justin and the Bronx Bombers. You get a free top loader here too, Justin. have pretty much wrapped up the AL East. White Sox, Houston, yeah, so the division leaders, I guess Philadelphia still has a shot. They can keep beating the Braves here. If they sweep the Braves, or not, I think they may have lost last night, but if they sweep the Braves, they've got a shot at the NL East. They're only three and a half back, so that's, that's a tight finish. 
think Milwaukee is pretty much set. I think wild card in the NL is pretty much set. And yeah, the Dodgers, two games behind the Giants. So NL East, NL West, a couple tight matchups there. And the wild cards are not settled. The Mariners are a half game back of Boston. So they, need, they need some help. They need to beat the A's, need some help from the Orioles. And the Blue Jays are a game behind as well, but then they, ha then they have to leapfrog Seattle and Boston to get into that spot. So Toronto needs to take care of business with the Yankees, who are currently leading that wild card spot. And the NL wild card is pretty much set. Cardinals and Dodgers are definitely in it, but Dodgers still have a chance to get to uh, the division, which means it would be Giants, Cardinals. So should could be an exciting uh, finish to the end. Adam Kerner, Padres, Chad, last spot mojo, strikes again. Yeah, Chad Chad Daw is a Mariners fan. There's Juan Soto, Orange 25. That's pretty sweet. Ryan with the Nats. Yeah, Chad's a Mariners fan. Needs the Mariners to keep winning. There's Malcolm Nunez to 499 refractor for. Oliver and the Cardinals. And Gregory Santos for my rivals, the Giants. Leo has San Francisco. That's 183 out of 250. Number 21 Giants prospect. And what's looking like a really great farm system for the Giants. There's Nick Madrigal refractor to a 499. And that's for the South Siders, Ryan Lind. All right, next box. So it looks like, looking at the Mariners' schedule, they only have four games left. They got a game against the A's tonight. Off on Thursday, and then they've got a, on the first, second, and third of October this weekend. October already, geez. Um, they'll be hosting the Angels. The Angels will see if they can play spoiler, or if they'll, they'll roll over to the Mariners maybe, but I mean, pretty much the Mariners have to win out if they want a shot. The Yankees and the Blue Jays will keep beating up on each other. And what's the what's the Red Sox schedule look like? Because they need they need the Red Sox to slip up a little bit too. So the Red Sox maybe have one more game against the Orioles tonight. No, two more. So they've got they've got today and tomorrow with the O's, and their weekend series is at Nationals. So could be a very could, lot a lot of baseball to watch this weekend. There's Christian Santana to 250, Purple Shimmer for Coppola and the Tigers. There's Malvin Valdez for the Reds, Ryan, with the red legs.
we got some magenta to 199, Mick Abel. That'll be for Arthur King. That's Brad, actually, in the chat in the Phillies. Elijah Dunham. Elijah Dunham, New York Yankees. Justin with the Bronx Bombers. Tristan McKenzie, 65 out of 299. Magenta for the Tribe. Derek with the Indians. Be the Guardians next year. It'll be kind of cool to see them with some some new logos. Wonder, uh, I ever wonder how much leftover uh, stationery the Cleveland Indians are going to even the Indians for a very long time. How much merch is sitting in boxes and warehouses? that have the Indians on them? How much stationery? How much, le how, mu how much letterheads do you think they have printed out with all that on their jackets and folders and stickers and wall decals? It's a lot. It's like when uh, what happens in like in like England, right? When when a new uh, king or queen is is anointed, I guess they have to change all the money. So the the whole the whole mint has to has to change up all the coins and all the bills. It's a big transition. There's Carson Taylor for the Dodgers. Ryan with my Dodgers. There you go. Fourth round pick. Another uh, another Dodger catcher. They seem to be they seem to be able to draft catchers pretty well. Dodgers front office lately. Brian Reynolds, five out of ninety nine. Green Chrome. Jaron Duran Duran, 464 out of 499 for Boston. And Viandel Pena, 009 out of 299, Ryan and the Nationals. Speckle autograph, number 20 prospect in the Gulf Coast League. Duran Duran going to Leo and the Bosox. Cody Bellinger to 499. 359 out of 499. That's like his uh his, like his OPS is here. Not very good. But I mean, I'm telling you I think he's going to have a big year next year. I don't know what Cody Bellinger rookie card prices are right now, but probably not very good. It'd probably be easy to 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 buy low on that guy. Worst comes to worst, if he continues to suck next year, you haven't in, you haven't spent too much money. What's that? He's still young, yeah. Well, I mean, and people forget he came off that shoulder surgery. You look at similar shoulder surgeries in the past. A lot of players have struggled the following season. Like they're healthy enough to play, but they have struggled at the plate. I remember uh, early in the season, he got stepped on. He got a hairline fracture like on his front foot, like his plant foot. So his front shoulder is jacked up. His plant foot is jacked up. You know, because I think that, that hairline fracture kind of messed him up a little bit too. 
And he got like a, he's just been banged up. He got like a weird oblique thing or something like that, ribs thing recently. So he needs to get right in the off season. And if he can do that, yeah, and as Jesse was saying, still young. I think he's still under team control for another season or two as well. So he'll be entering free agency soon, so you know he wants to have a monster year. The Dodgers wouldn't mind that too. All right. Next box, good luck. There's Marco Luciano, 86 out of 199. Magenta Shimmer for the Giants. Leo with the Giants. This is one of their top prospects. Yeah, number eight overall prospect for the Giants. There's Matt Scheffler for the M's. Coppola with the Mariners. Heston Kirkstad for the O's to 250, Purple Chrome. That's going to go to Harry and the Orioles. One of their top draft picks, too. Number two overall pick. And we got Kyle Hurt. And that'll be for the fish, Kevin, with the Marlins. Brady Singer to 250, Purple Chrome. And we are officially halfway through this full case break. Six more box to go, a lot of autographs to go, two per box, all card shit. Another one of these in the store, pick your team. 18, this is pick your team 17 currently. Pick your team 18 is in the store right now. And there's probably a good chance that we'll be able to fill and break another case of this tonight. Maybe even a third one. I feel like a new release day. Some, some, uh, some stories here. MLBTradeRumors.com says Brandon Belt expected to miss around four weeks due to a thumb fracture. That's a bulk of the postseason there. Uh, Mets shut down Jacob deGrom. There's only a handful of games left. Mets reinstate Noah Syndergaard from the 60-day IL. I wonder if they, they'll have him squeeze in a start before the end of the season. Oh, he pitched last night. How do you do? Huh. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's good. Get some work in, Noah Syndergaard. I think he's a free agent this year. At the end of the, at the end of the season, Cardinals activate Dakota Hudson, Jack Flaherty from the IL. Matthew Boyd to undergo flexor tendon surgery. That's not good. All right, next box, working into the uh, second half of this case. And we got Malfrin Sosa, Michael Langer and the Twins. That'll be for M Michael once again in Minnesota. Ian Anderson. To 299, Magenta. That's for Harry and the Braves. And 
And we've got an Atomic Blaze Jordan 40 Man Futures insert. 108 out of 150. That'll go to Leo and the Bo Sox. And we got a green chrome Victor Acosta autograph for Chad and the Padres. One of his last spot mojo teams. Last spot mojo, 70% of the time. It's 100% of the time. We got a Christian Santana Aqua parallel to 125. The Tigers for Capola. Next box. Two autographs. All right, next box. There's Jeter Downs, purple chrome to 250. Shimmer, former Dodger prospect for the Bo Sox, Leo, part of that Mookie deal. Oh, and a Malcolm Nunez kind of took me by surprise. Bowman chrome prospect autograph, purple refractor. Malcolm Nunez for the Redbirds, Oliver Soria, and the Cardinals. And Oliver, a free top loader. How about that? There you go, man. Nice. There's Robert Hassel to 499, one of their top picks recently. Eighth overall pick in 2020. And that will be for Chad and the Padres. And there's Rafael Morel, Remington, with the Cubbies. That's right. Oliver's like, hey, I'm just here for redemptions and the free top loaders. There's Malvin Valdez to 150, blue chrome. For Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. And the next box. There's LeBron James on the on the Manning cast from Monday Night Football. Oh yeah, he yeah. He, he was tight end in high school. He would have been a beast in the NFL. Uh, according to MLB.com, playoff stakes, AL wild card, five teams. Yankees, Red Sox, Mariners, Blue Jays, and A's remain in the hunt for the two AL wildcard spots. The Yanks have a two-game lead over the Red Sox. Boston sits half game ahead of the Mariners. Mariners who are seeking their first postseason berth since 2001. And one game ahead of the Blue Jays for the final spot. The A's are still alive, although two straight losses to Seattle dropped Oakland to three and a half games back. In the NL East, Braves lead the Phillies by three and a half games in the NL East after winning the first game of a pivotal three-game series between the division foes in Atlanta. 
The Braves are looking to win a fourth trade division title while the Phillies are eyeing their first postseason berth since 2011. In the NL West, Giants are trying to hold off the Dodgers to not only win the NL West crown, but also avoid playing in that NL wild card game. Giants maintains maintain its two lead, uh, two game lead over the Dodgers with five to play after each club notched a win Tuesday night. Ooh, we got some statistical races coming up too. I'll give you that next box. All right, there's Tanner Hawk to 499 for Leo and the Bo Sox. Igai Rosario 394 out of 499 refractor autograph for Chad and the Padres. Last spot mojo 70% of the time, 100% of the time. Pete Alonzo 136 out of 250 purple chrome for Chad. What about Eli? Say Eli. He's won two Super Bowls. And there's Luis Mieses for the Southsiders. Ryan Lynn with the White Sox. There's an Eduardo Garcia Speckle, 287 out of 299. Chris with the Brew Crew. All right, we got three boxes left. The final three boxes of Pick Your Team number 17. Six autographs to go. More Bowman Chrome in the store. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Check it out. Statistical races, according to MLB.com, batting average titles. Trey Turner raises NL leading average to 325 with a three hit night last night, while Juan Soto went 0 for 4 to drop his average to 318. It's a pretty good race there. Meanwhile, in the AL, a pair of Astros teammates, Yuli Gurriel hitting 317, and Michael Brantley 315 are battling it out with Vlad Guerrero Jr., who is hitting 313 right now, for the title. That said, it's worth knowing that Brantley, who has been sidelined since September 12th, only has 493 plate appearances, nine shy of the qualifying threshold. He would return. He would need to return and log in at least nine plate appearances to qualify. Home runs. Doesn't get much more exciting than the race for the AL home run title. After a home run Tuesday, Salvador Perez leads the MLB with 47, followed by Vlad with 46, while Otani has 45, and Marcus Simeon has 43. Uh, NL home run crown is likely to go to Tatis at 41. And Tatis missed a bunch of games, too, which is kind of crazy to think. He could have had 50, I think. Uh, but at, Atlanta's Adam Duvall, 38, with his, with, is within striking distance. Yeah, Adam Duvall can, can knock out a bunch of home runs in a hurry. Ooh, who's going to win that AL home run race? Anyone have any thoughts on that? There's Josh Winkowski, who's doing his uh, black ink autograph. He's different. 216 out of 499. Leo with the Red Sox. There you go. Black ink autograph. I don't think that. I think that was a mistake, but <laughs> what's done is done. Out of 499, Kevin Made for Chicago. Jay Remington. And Nolan Gorman, 194 out of 199, Magenta Shimmer for St. Louis. And Franiel Baez, Chad Daw, with the bonus team right there, Arizona Diamondbacks. Who needs to go to Jaspie's autograph camp, maybe work on that a little bit. 
There's Johnny Pyron, 30 out of 50. Gold for the Rays. That's going to go to Mark. Two more to go. Four autographs left. Strikeout leaders, Robbie Ray leads the AL and the Majors with 244 strikeouts. Garrett Cole is second with 237. And the NL, Zach Wheeler has 247. Trying to hold off Max Scherzer has 232. Corbin Burns is 230. Coming down the stretch. I don't know how many starts either of those players have left. ERA leaders, Robbie Ray looking like he's poised to claim the AL ERA title. 268. Marking the, uh, representing the only sub-3 ERA in the AL. Garrett Cole is 308. Although Garrett Cole starting tonight. Uh, race for the NL and MLB ERA titles much tighter. Max Scherzer, 228. He's clinging to a narrow lead over Corbin Burns, who has 229. Walker Buehler is 249. Brandon Woodruff, 259. MVP, Otani's built the most, this is according to MLB.com, has built the most unique case in the history of the MVP award, although Guerrero will try to make one final push for the AL MVP award by willing the Blue Jays into the postseason. I think Otani's got it, though. Vegas has him as a pretty heavy favorite. Uh, NL MVP race is a little bit more open with Bryce Harper and Tatis taking it down to the wire. Soto may make a late surge. Bryce Harper, I think, is now the favorite according to Vegas. Tatis is not too far behind him. Almost at even money. Cy Young, Robbie Ray, looking like he's taking the lead over Garrett Cole in the AL. I think that makes sense. NL Cy Young. I think Scherzer and Burns is what it, what it comes down to. Rookie of the Year on the heels of his incredible postseason performance. Seemingly out of nowhere. Tampa Bay's Randy Arozarena has made a solid case for AL Rookie of the Year, but Ryan Mountcastle will do it. And then, yeah, Jonathan India is a pretty heavy favorite for the NL Rookie of the Year. All right, there, hey, there's Randy Arozarena right there. Looked really good in the postseason. And could win the AL Rookie of the Year. And there's my guy, Luis Rodriguez. 110 out of 150. Color match. Blue chrome. Blue ink auto. For my boys in blue, Ryan with the Dodgers. Nice. Exp uh, deemed top Venezuela prospect in the 2019 class by both Baseball America and MLB.com. Five-tool team, exceptional ball tracker in center, assist-friendly arm, rhythmic hitter with balanced swing, catches up to high-velocity fastballs. Nice. Outfielder. There's Jorge Soler, gold, 14 out of 50 for the Royals. And Jordy Barley, Padres, another one for Chad. Padres is just sitting there. No one wanted him. Rated number 17 prospect in the Arizona Fall League. Jorge Soler for Zach Gwynn and Kansas City. Matthew Allen to 250. Purple Chrome for New York for Chad. We've got an insert auto coming up, the summer camp auto. There's Kevin Mage, Shimmer, Bowman First Shimmer. And it's Austin Martin. 91 out of 100 summer camp autograph. Blue Jays edition. Going to Harry in Toronto. Nice. We've got JD Martinez to 150, blue chrome for the Red Sox. And the final box coming up. Fingers crossed and good luck, everybody. Oh, Richard Sherman signed a one-year deal with the Buccaneers.
All right, final two autographs. Maybe a train whistle hit here out of five and under. Get the train whistle. We have not seen a super fractor since some of our early cases. So let's see what let's see what we got. Good luck. Final box, pick your team 17. And we got Jason Dominguez, purple chrome shimmer. Justin and the Yankees. 88 out of 250. The Martian. And there's Eduarki Fernandez, Brewers. Chris with the Brew Crew. Number 30 Brewers prospect. We got Paul Goldschmidt to 299 for Oliver and the Cardinals. We got a Pete Alonzo refractor, 33 out of 499 for Chad and the Mets. Our last auto is Tanner Murray. Tanner for Tampa. It goes to Mark. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We're going to do a recap in just a second. Let's see what's in these, this final little stack here. Ooh, oh, that's right. We, f we need our case hit. There's Bowman Ascension, Spencer Torkelson. Falls one per case. That's for I, Coppola, and the Detroit Tigers. Jared Kelly at the end. That is that. Thanks everyone for being a part of Pigger Team 17. Next case is in the store right now. We've got a good chance at knocking out another one tonight. I feel like I feel like a super fractor is on the horizon. Not a bad case though. Not a bad case at all. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for breaking with us. Once again, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This was Bowman Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition, 12-box picker team number 17. More in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.